Good afternoon. It's great to be at the Boone Cookman College. I want to thank President Cripe for hosting us. And the presidents came to see me uh, talking about uh, some, some potential opportunities for support that would really benefit the state. Uh, yeah, I was really uh, uh, glad to do that and, and glad to discuss it. And so as it came time to present the budget uh, for uh, fiscal year 2021, uh, we put in the governor's recommendations a real historic uh, amount of support uh, for our HBC. You know, Mary McLeod Bethune's 145th birthday is coming up on July 10th. And so uh, her vision for this university um, and others like it, I think, uh, are really why we're here today, why we all came together uh, to be able to provide uh, this support. So these, these investments in the budget are significant. Uh, you're talking about um, an increase of 13 million for Bethune Cookman here. You're talking about an increase of 3.5 million for Florida Memorial and an increase of 3.5 million for Everett Waters College. Action speaks louder than words. And, uh, and I'm left with no other option but to proclaim this day and to go on record that I believe that Governor Ron DeSantis, he is a friend to HBCU schools. Would you agree with that? Because what you have done today, you have now put yourself and written yourself in the history books of black history. Thank you, Mr. Governor, for this opportunity. The investment in these institutions on the part of the state of Florida is obviously and demonstrably critical. But so too are the signal effects. With this budget line, the state affirms its recognition of the extraordinary contribution and legacy of these three institutions. And today in particular, universities, and especially HBCUs, are faced with profound and even existential challenges. These challenges are only matched by the utter necessity of our work and the recognition of the role we assume in bridging the gap between ability and access to some of the state's most vulnerable, marginalized, and brilliant students. 